Okay, so what we're doing today is we're gonna show you guys um, of a little install we're doing on this truck. As you can see, it is a early 2015 model um, LTZ. Um, so we're putting Boost Auto Part um, 16 style mirrors on with um, some extra goodies in it. This is the mirror here, and as you can see, the caps are off. We got the paintable ones, and we painted them gloss black. And then for the light, we have the uh, smoked strips, and these are the switchbacks. So I'm not sure what we all have to do to get them wired up, but we're gonna put them on there and just um, wire them up, get everything working, and then show you guys the process, I guess. Um, this is the truck that earlier we did the uh, headlights on. Um, took them apart and put the uh, Clears Manufacturing smoke lenses in on here. Um, we debadged the truck. Uh, I think that's about it. And then we're also installing a bump, bumper on the rear and also wiring up his um, pods in the bumpers. I think he's got something to go in the back too. So we're gonna set y'all up and we're gonna get right to it. Okay, so we're gonna show y'all how to take the door panel off. Um, we already did the other side so we kinda know how. Cause it always kinda takes, um, you gotta get into it again to refresh your memory. Um, we've done this before. But there's a panel in here. Get yourself a little ice pick or something. There's one here and one up in here. They got a spot, just get underneath them, pop them out. And then you're gonna have two, two bolts here, one here, one under this cover and then two in the bottom of the door here. And on this here, you simply um, get yourself something and get it started in the end. But as you can see, it snaps out. Most of the time, them stay in there. You have to take them out and put them back on there. But just pull on it, basically. Comes off pretty hard. Um, just pull on them. You don't need to worry about breaking it when you pull it off. Okay, so you're gonna have this deal here, which is your door handle. Um, you can see there, push this tab down, pull it back around it, and it pops right out. Simply pull this red lever back, push the tab in, and take it up, and then pull it on the back side. Actually, that's only one. And that's it. There's your door panel, so. And then, of course, the mirror plug-in's right there. And then this here just snaps off to this piece above the door, so. So this is what um, we probably have to wire up because as you know, the early 15s, they did not have the signal in the front of the mirror. So, and with this being a switchback, you have to have two sources of power. Um, one being your running lights and then the other being a signal. Um, the one is gonna be for park lights. The other one's gonna be for the, that backup light. Okay. The high output backup light. So as you see, here's the uh, wire. Um, the plug-in we have to wire up and as I understand it one of these is for the clearance light here and then the other one is for the 
running light for the front because we already have a, a signal light. And for the switchback, we need a signal power and then a running light power that it can switch on and off. So, and then the other one, like I said, is to hook these up. And I'm not sure how we'll hook them up yet as far as with the uh, reverse or just a cargo lamp, I'm not sure yet. I have to figure out what he wants. They send you these two, or you have to fill it out right when you order them to get these. Uh, it makes it a lot easier because we're gonna have to run these up into the fuse box on the truck. And as you can see, they got the fuse with them. You plug it in the spot of the fuse and then hook your wire up. Um, here's a plug-in we have to wire up from and they send you um, wiring here that we have to run. It's gonna be two from that side, two from this side, and they all have to be run through the door, underneath the dash and out into the fuse box basically. But what it is, the white one here is for, uh, let me see if I can get this untangled, white on the front, I think. Yeah, the signal wire, because we got a constant hot, I guess, right? So, um, so can, there, as you can see, if I put hot to this white wire, the uh, cargo light comes on. And then if we do the blue wire, we're gonna get the white, that one? Yeah, so that's white. And then turn, turn the signal on, turn the four ways on. Uh, there. So this is how it's gonna work when you're, when you have your, actually, yeah, when you have your lights on, turn your turn signal off and it comes right back on white, so. All right, we're gonna get to it. We're gonna run these through the door, um, up underneath the dash, and into the fuse box. We'll show you some of that or how we route it, so. So, okay, we already got that side buttoned up again. We ran the wire, so we figured, we figured we're gonna show you guys this side of how we do it. Um, first of all, you gotta plug your panel back up and roll the window up. Um, and then you know, grab this and literally just peel this back. This is just a sound detonator, or dust shield, whatever. Um, unplug your mirror again and then pop this out and then just grab a knife or something. And we're gonna run a wire right here in the grommet. Let me grab the light. As you can see, this on the head. Um, just right here in the side. Just go and uh, pull the wires to the side and it makes you a little slip there. And you're good there. Um, and then just push this grommet on the inside. Actually, oh, should we? Right, so grab the two bare end of your wires. Probably blind in the camera there. And shove them through there. I guess you can do it all the way right away. All right, now we got a bunch of wire pulled through there. Push this thing on the inside, along with your wires. Probably run this back out here where we can hook up and go in. Okay, now the grommet, I think you can see this here. There's a plug-in right here where it will plug up into the cab. Um, there's a little tab here. Just take a screwdriver or something, go down in there, and pop it off. And then you're also gonna come in here and push it inside the door. It just locks in there. Just wrap it around there. You could do it with just a piece of wire or something, if you don't have a snake, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have a feed, a wire snake or whatever they call these. If you go, if you turn this grommet on the inside, can you see in there? This is where it goes in the door. Can you see it or no? Not, uh, but if you turn that grommet, you can see where the wire goes inside the grommet there. And you basically take this, take your snake and you feed it right right beside the wire. 
um, where it runs through the, through the door. Should be there. Yep. There you go. Let's see, we're through. So now we have it fed through the uh, boot there. As you can see, it's coming out right here. We'll show you how to put it inside the cab here in a little bit. But now you can basically pull your wires and stuff back up here. Like that, and then you pull your boot, you can see there, that's where you run it through the first time. And when you pull this out, it's right there. Now, you might have to reach on the inside and pull it through here first, but you basically wanna pull it all the way through. Just a little pigtail hanging out there like that so then you just pull all the way through here now to feed it through the post there into the cab um, we're going to go right on the top side of this plug right here go ahead and wrap your two wires up a little bit so they stick together they don't spread or separate when, once you push them inside Okay, so we're gonna, just gonna go right on top of it. There's a little groove off to the side and just push it right in there. I'll start feeding it. And we're gonna have to guys, probably lay down on the floorboard, shine up in there and see if we can see it coming out anywhere. It should basically come out in the kick panel. It's gonna be up, it's kinda hard to see, but if you just push it around in there, pretty soon you can find it. Yeah, just like that. Um, there okay so you can see they, they're running right on the side there now you just take this basically the wires run right on top of that plug okay so you can see them running in right here right above the plug um, so now you just take this there's a tab on the bottom you have to hook first and it just snaps right back into place you don't even know the wires running through there. So, and then afterwards, you actually, yeah, we need to pull this one back. The one we pulled off on the door inside, have to straighten that back up and push it back into place. All right, so now we both got both sides of our wires um, inside inside the cab for now. Um, this you simply just take and it's got sticky stuff on the back. You push it back up there. Um, plug your mirror back up. Plugging goes there. Thing goes right here. Like that. Plug this up, and then right here's you plug these two up, and your door panel's ready to go back on. So to put it on, you literally just line it up, and well, first you gotta plug it up, hook the hook the door handle on and line it up and just shove it on there. As you can see here, we have this piece here and most of these little tabs that I have in my hand here, um, most of the time they pull off of these right here. So you basically pull them out of the door then um, and just slide them back on there. It can be a pain sometimes, just like that. Just pop, pop them back on there and start at the top, it has little tabs on it. Start at the top first. So you can tell this piece right here. Um, we just pull it down and just lay the wires up in top, on top of there. Um, we took the snake here and fed it um, right through here and just shove it all the way through. Somebody gets it at the other end and then you just lay them up on top of there. And now we go on the other side and we're gonna feed them up through the firewall.
as you can see, we have um, right here, we have it pulled through. Um, we ended up going right on top of that grommet there. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up on this truck um, for the installs. As you can see, we put the uh, boost out of parts and mirrors on. Um, we got these in the, the paintable cap version with the caps. Um, they have an option with either chrome, textured black, or you can get them um, paintable. And they, it's pretty nice because they ship them off the mirror. That way you don't have to take the back of the mirror apart to um, take these off to get them painted. Um, you can paint them on there, but it's, I don't recommend it because you can't get your edges and stuff real good. 
but like I said, these have the uh, switchbacks, so they're gonna run white into until you turn your turning signal on. Then they're gonna um, go to orange and then back to white. Um, as far as the front goes, um, you put he's got six pods here. You put two more in and wire those up with the factory fog light harness in the front. Um, so all you gotta do is um, hit the fog light switch and those pop on. And then on the back side here, you have um, the Iron Cross rear bumper. And as you can see, he's got two three inch pods in the back here. And you hook those up too with the switch inside the dash here. Um, I can actually show you that right here. Um, put it right here on the side of the console. This piece pops off and you can put it in behind there. But just flip it like that. Um, I'll also show you how the mirrors work. Um, if you can see right now, they're going to be on a white here. And then if I go in here and I turn the turn, turn signal or far ways on, it goes to an orange. So um, if I turn that off, it goes back to a white. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, as far as the wiring goes, I think we covered everything there. Um, run it up through the firewall into the fuse box and we did have to go or we didn't have to but we went and got a different um, fuse tap from O'Reilly's because we ended up hooking the clearance lights here into the reverse light so when you put the truck in reverse these automatically come on um, you can do that you can hook it into the dome light um, whatever you want to this right on this one so um, hope that uh, answers questions now you guys know how to install boost out of part mirrors on early 15 duramax um so a little bit of wiring there but there's no big deal pretty straightforward so um, i think that's gonna do it so thank you guys for watching um like comment subscribe if you like the videos and we're gonna try to keep more coming of just little projects we do in the shop here and um we'll see y'all on the next one